could ask you about those sparring sessions with Alexander Usyk. Obviously, it made a lot of headlines. So, what exactly happened when you two locked horns in the ring? I don't lie. I don't know how to lie. I always tell the truth. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Because you know who I am. It was in the gym when I gave Usyk hard time. Usyk never even touched me. Bullshit! 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 I smash him. Knock him out. Knock him out with a body shot. Whoa. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG Empress. Gotta get money back for another YouTube video. Bang it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. We have some news from the Martin Bacoli camp, man. It's actually some very good news, man. We will finally see Martin Bacoli back in the ring on December 21st, most likely, on the undercard of Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Excuse me. Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury rematch because we got to respect the champion. You know what I'm saying? The first undisputed champion in 25 years, quarter century, which is Alexander Usyk, you know? And speaking of Alexander Usyk, man, Martin Bacoli, you know what I'm saying? The heavyweight fresh off the scene out of the De Democratic Republic of Congo, man. He burst on like a bad man Me after his destruction, five-round destruction of Jeremy Baby Anderson, right? He said, hey, man. Nobody wants to fight me. I'm the most feared heavyweight, man. And he said, you know, Usyk knows about me. Go ahead and ask him. He said, man, when he got his hands on Usyk, he, Usyk couldn't fight for a week. <laughs> he said, hey, hey, I'm done with this part. I need a break, you know. And how did he do it? He accomplished it by a body shot. I smash him, knock him out, knock him out with a body shot. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know, Dubois is familiar with Usyk and the body shots, right? Remember that controversial decision when it came to Usyk and Dubois' confrontation in the ring? But we ain't going to talk about that, though. But speaking of Dubois, oh, Bacoli has a uh, has a story for Dubois as well. He ain't spared nobody. He said, hey, man, I stopped you not once, but twice. Damn. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? He stopped him twice, man. So <laughs> Bacoli said, man, hey, nobody wants no pressure. He said he sparred with Fury as well and gave him a hard time. He also said... Anthony Joshua, who we just saw Dubois destroy, he put the work on him as well, man. So Bacoli said, yeah, the only reason why I'm talking about this sparring sessions is because, you know, I'm trying to get my name out there. I don't have any major backing. I'm fresh on the scene. So I'm just trying to get my name out there and I have no reason to lie. And I do agree with him, man. I do, I do not only agree with him, sorry. I believe him. I believe what he's saying that he has gave these guys a business of sparring you know and i do agree with him that he's establishing the reputation of a hard guy to deal with however i will say with the sport when it comes to sparring i would just say slow down a little bit because while we do have some stories about you know sparring stories going the way that it went down and being brought to the public eye when when, when they actually fight when the lights are on in, in, in the professional setting you know uh we have seen some stories where sparring doesn't exactly go like that in on, on fight night, you know? So we'll talk about the former first, right? You know, famously, Dubois gave AJ some trouble. And then when they actually fought <laughs> under the bright lights, they brought the private gym session into the public eye. You know, and it's the same thing that went down, uh, allegedly in the sparring session, went down in the ring as well with Dubois stopping AJ. However, you know, we also heard, on the contrary, that Frank Martin gave Tank some trouble in sparring. And I think Frank Martin may still be asleep right now after Tank got to him. Yeah. You know what? Also, speaking of Dubois again, we heard that Hergovich may have sent the young Dubois to the hospital. Well, looks like somebody else went to the hospital and wasn't Dubois. Hergovich might still be there right now. I ain't heard from him since. He may be retired. That's what he said. Yeah. If, if Dubois beats him, he'll consider retirement. Well, he's right on schedule because I ain't heard from Buddy in a minute. So I think that, um, yeah, with sparring, we do take it with, the, I want to say... I want to say as lightly as a grain of salt, we do want to take it into consideration when we're speaking of these fighters and how they may fare off, how they may fare against each other once they square up in the ring. However, I don't want to put too much stock into it because at the end of the day, sparring is practice. And this is coming from an amateur boxer like myself. I have a, you know, I box an amateur, not, nowhere near the world class level. But my point is that when I sparred, I'll say nine out of ten times I was in the sparring 
working on something. You know, my coach would tell me, hey, hey, doc, work on your jab this round. You know what I'm saying? This one, work on your footwork, work on your upper body movement, work on your one, two, your one, two, three, your combinations, work on your head movement. You know, so it's, it's very few times, if any, that I could recall just going in there and just fighting, you know? And so a lot of times people disregard um, or omit the fact that sparring is training you know it's just like if you play basketball or if you or if you ran track you would you would be in certain situations like let's let's go with basketball right you run inbound plays you run two minute drills you're right you run 10 second drills you work on different plays different schemes so that's exactly what, what what boxing is too sparring is just the practice version of that even when you go on to talk about like a track runner right you're not just running Full, full 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 sprint you know all the time no you're working on how you get out the blocks you're working on how you take a turn uh, take a turn you're working on how you pass the baton if you're in a relay team so practice is practice at the same time and things do happen to practice that may not come to fruition in the pros however it is still a benchmark that we could take into consideration and i do agree with bacoldi the fact that he has to get a ha find a way to advertise himself and uh, this may be to his own detriment at but at the very least, at least he's, he's gaining popularity with these stories, you know, amongst the fans and amongst myself. Because I'm definitely interested in his next fight, and which will be on the, uh, according to reports, it will be on the Usyk Fury rematch on December 21st. Good Lord willing. Now his opponent has yet to be announced, but according to boxers uh, uh, Ben Shalom, he said, "Hey man, he didn't confirm nor deny, you know, the fan favorite matchup between Big Bang Zhang and Martin Bacoli, but he did say that." You know, it's going to be a surprise that we will like it. So I don't know who it's going to be. It could be Bacoli versus Joseph Parker. Yeah. It could be Bacoli versus Big Bang Zhang. Yeah. It could be Bacoli versus Caballero. All these matchups are great. You know what I'm saying? It could be somebody else. Who knows? Maybe he could avenge his one and only loss to Michael Hunter, right? Michael Hunter beat Bacoli. Even though Bacoli was injured about halfway through the fight with his shoulder, he did lose. That's his only blemish on his... um record and i'm sure he would like to you know set that straight and michael hunter's not not a slouch either we may not be too familiar with him but michael hunter only has one loss and that one loss came to alexander Usyk. so there's no shame in losing to a top three pound for pound guy and the current undisputed heavyweight champion well he would be the current if the IBF did strip him, right? So, you know, so uh, there's a whole bunch of possibilities in the heavyweight division that I would like to see. Even Bacoli versus Guido Vianello. What? So there's a plethora of possibilities on the heavyweight end, right? You know, we could even make it an all-African affair with uh, Martin Bacoli representing the Democratic Republic of Congo versus F.A. Ajagba out of Nigeria. But like I said, you know, there's a lot of matchups that can be made in the heavyweight division. It's very interesting. It may not be as you know, as top heavy as it once was, but there's definitely has some depth inside the heavyweight division, man. So I'm looking forward to it, man. Y'all let me know who y'all uh, think Bo Bacoli will be fighting next and who do you want him to fight next, you know? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.